Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the midpoint formula. So we have here our Cartesian plane, and let's have this problem. Find the midpoint between negative 2, 1 and 4, 1. So basically, if we're going to get the midpoint, first step, use the Cartesian plane and plot the points. So negative 2, 1. So plot our first point, negative 2, 1. That will be our first point. And our second point is 4, 1. 4, 1. Okay. Connecting the two points. Okay. Now get the midpoint. So the middlemost point. So our middlemost point is so one unit, one unit, so here. So our midpoint is one one. So that would be our midpoint if we're going to plot in our Cartesian plane. So from that we can derive our formula for midpoint. So we have the midpoint formula for the x uh, midpoint let's say x sub m and y sub m or the midpoint of y okay so midpoint of x that would be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 and for our y midpoint of course, we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So, midpoint of x, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2, and the midpoint for y, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. Now, let's check if we will get the same answer. So, let's use the same given. This is our x sub 1, y sub 1. x sub 2, y sub 2. So our x sub 1 is negative 2 plus x sub 2, x sub 2 is positive 4 divided by 2. Now we have negative 2 plus 4, that is 2 all over 2, and 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And for the y, y sub 1 is 1 plus y sub 2. Uh, this is y sub 2, 1 all over 2. 1 plus 1, that is 2 over 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. So our midpoint for x is 1 and for y is 1. Okay. Are they missing? Yes. So take note, our formula for the midpoint, x, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 and for the y midpoint, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. Don't forget the formulas. Our second example. Find the midpoint of points 2, negative 7 and negative 4, 5. So let us label our given points. This is our x sub 1 x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Our midpoint formula for our x, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2. And for y, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. Let us now substitute the given. For x sub 1, we have 2 plus x sub 2, negative 4. So this will become minus 4 all over 2. And y sub 1, negative 7. y sub 2 is positive 5 all over 2. Now 2 minus 4, that is negative 2 copy our denominator which is 2 negative 7 plus 5 that is negative 2 all over 
copy denominator 2. And our midpoint, negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1, negative 2 divided by 2, negative 1. This will be our midpoint. Negative 1, comma, negative 1. And now our problem number 3. A line segment on the coordinate plane has endpoints 1, 4, and negative 7, y. The midpoint of the segment is point negative 3, negative 7. What is the value of y? So we're going to find the value of y. So first, let us lay down our given. This is our x sub 1, y sub 1, our x sub 2, and y sub 2. And of course, this is our midpoint. Midpoint of for x and midpoint for y. So our formula, we have the midpoint for x, that is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2. And for the y, that is y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. We can remove our parentheses if you want. Now since y is the missing so we're going to find the missing value for y so we're just going to use our formula for y so our midpoint for y is negative 7 the substitute is equal to y sub 1 our y sub 1 is 4 plus y sub 2 y sub 2, that is our missing value, so remain y all over 2. We're going to find y. Now, cross multiply. So, 2 times negative 7, we have negative 14 is equal to 4 plus y. Addition property of equality. So, negative 14 minus 4 is equal to y. So negative 14 minus 4, that is negative 18 is equal to y. So the value of y is negative 18. Negative 18. So that is our problem number 3. And now our fourth example. The length of segment MN is 15 units. Suppose the coordinate of M are 9, negative 7, and the coordinates of n are x, positive 2. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of segment mn if n lies in the second quadrant? So we know that second quadrant, we have the sign of negative and positive. Okay, second quadrant, negative for x and positive for y. Now, we have the length, uh, given the length, which is 15 units. So, we're going to use the distance formula first. So, the distance is equal to the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to 2 plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to 2. This is our x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Substitute, the distance is 15 units. So, d is 15, is equal to square root of x sub 1, x sub 1 is 9, 9 minus x sub 2, x sub 2 is x, raised to 2. Or it can be x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Right? We can arrange this into x minus 9. They are still the same. Plus y sub 1. y sub 1 is negative 7. Minus y sub 2 is 2. Raised to 2. So 15 is equal to square root of. Square of a binomial, so square the first term, 
that is x squared multiply the first and the second term times 2 so x times negative 9 negative 9x times 2 negative 18x then negative 9 times negative 9 positive 81 plus we have negative 7 minus 2 that is negative 9 negative 9 squared that is 81 so negative 7 minus 2 that is negative 9 negative 9 negative 9 raised to 2 that's negative 9 times negative 9 that's why we have 81 here now let's combine 15 is equal to square root of x squared minus 18x 81 plus 81 that is 162 we need to remove the square root so square the equation so we have 15 squared 15 squared that is 15 times 15 225 is equal to x squared minus 18x plus 162 square root and square will be cancelled out now equate to zero so zero is equal to x squared minus 18x plus 162 minus 225 now we have zero is equal to x squared minus 18x 162 minus 225 so 225 minus 162 so we have 3 and 6 negative 63 so this will be our quadratic now we need to find a factor of negative 63 the sum must be 18 so 63 the sum must be 18 so factors of 63 are so let us find the factors of 63 we have 3 now we have 21 21 3 and 7 9 times 7 no how about 21 21 times 3 yeah so we have 0 is equal to x x we have negative 21 and positive 3 let us check negative 21 times positive 3 that is negative 63 negative 21 plus 3 that is negative 18 so we have x minus 21 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to positive 21 and x is equal to negative 3 so two possible values for x but in our condition is what are the coordinates of the midpoint of segment mn if n lies in the second quadrant second quadrant coordinates must be negative and positive so x we will get the negative 3 so this will be our x will be negative 3 so the coordinates will be um let us rewrite 9 negative 7 and negative 3 positive 2 what are the coordinates of the midpoint so we're going to get the midpoint so the midpoint will be midpoint is equal to 9 9 minus 3 all over 2 and negative 7 plus 2 all over 2 So we have 9 minus 
थ्री वी हैव सिक्स ओवर टू एंड इन दिस केस वी हैव नेगेटिव फाइव ऑल ओवर टू नाउ सिंपलीफाई वी हैव सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू दैट इस पॉजिटिव थ्री नेगेटिव फाइव ओवर टू दैट इस नेगेटिव टू पॉइंट फाइव दिस विल बी आवर मिड पॉइंट थ्री कामा नेगेटिव टू पॉइंट फाइव सो दैट इस डी मिड पॉइंट फॉर्मूला Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.